प्रेम सबोलोशन गुरु महाराज की जय हो जय सीताराम जय रे होती स्वागत है मन वेलकम बैक टू सूर्योदय थर्सडे मॉर्निंग प्रोग्रामिंग हियर ऑन रेडियो एन टीवी जागृति और साइमो कास्ट ऑन रेडियो एन टीवी जागृति विद योर शुली पंडित शिव जनक महाराज एंड यू दिस नॉट अ ब्यूटीफुल डे इट इज हियर इन द रिपब्लिक ऑफ ट्रिनिडाद एंड टोबैगो एज वी ड्रॉ closer to the purnima that will be celebrated on saturday coming dear devotees and we all know by now what this coming purnima this full moon brings with it of course it's known as guru purnima and so this morning's program i dedicate to all the great gurus of the past present and future may we continue to seek their guidance and blessings dear devotees it is true the guru's wishes that we achieve the things that we want to achieve within this lifetime dear devotees as you just heard the beautiful sad guru chalisa written by my param guru dev professor h s adeshi guru dev ji we know as you penned in those beautiful words there as we attempt this morning to dedicate this morning's program to all the great gurus especially my own guru ji pandit harish maharaj ji and my param guru ji professor h s adesh ji as we he said in the sad guru chalisa even the thousand tongues of sheshna kana praise the guru as he deserves to be praised so dear devotees this is my humble attempt this morning so before we understand the greatness of the guru as we all know the guru is that one guru the remover of darkness and what is that darkness tamasoma jyotirgamiya that darkness of ignorance the guru removes it with that of knowledge however why we need to understand why is it that this coming purnima in the month of ashad shukla paksh and that purnima why is that considered to be guru purnima why no other purnima why no other day why was that day selected and dear devotees to understand that we need to go way back in history not in in fairy tale land but in history dear devotees where was the genesis of where it all started and to understand that this morning i share with you a nice little commentary followed by beautiful selection and bhajan of how where did this whole guru purnima start dear devotees as we enjoy uma pati mahadev ki jai shri guru maharaj ki jai ho पति महादेव की जय हो जय सीताराम जय रिपोर्ट इज स्वागत एंड वेलकम बैक आई ट्रस्ट दैट यू ऑल एंजॉय दैट ब्यूटीफुल narration and selection the devotees of course those of you with tv jagruti would have thoroughly enjoyed that beautiful video a beautiful video showing us the power of adi yogi that mahayogi the devotees who is that mahayogi who is the adi yogi who is the adi guru bhagwan shiv himself the devotees bhagwan shiv himself it is said that on that purnima of the ashad month this is when bhagwan shiv himself passed on his great knowledge of yoga that yoga that he passed on to you know last week we dedicated our program to the understanding of yoga and becoming a yogi a master of your mind and so that adi yogi that celestial knowledge that brings us alternate bliss satchitanand that dear devotees was passed on from bhagwan shiv to the saptarishis and the saptarishis in turn they took it to every part of the world so we need to understand that on this guru purnima day it is the anniversary day where that first adi yogi that adi guru in the form of bhagwan shiv himself he passed on that knowledge of yoga why do we know need yoga as we discussed last week yoga means union becoming one our jivatman understanding that we are spark of that paramatma as we know no the mantra guru ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साचात परम ब्रह्म तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः 
Mahaprabhu is the ultimate manifestation of Param Brahma, the ultimate Brahma Vidyan, that Brahma Gyan, their devotees, that we need to understand. And so that knowledge, their devotees, we need to understand that from that Adi Yogi, that Adi Guruji, that knowledge has passed on through the Saptarishis all the way down through the various lineages straight and that knowledge comes to you today in the form from your very own Gurujis, their devotees. And so this is why we must honor and love our Gurujis. They are divine celestial. They, we always hear that we are children of the Rishis. And so those Sapta Rishis, those were the ones who brought to us that knowledge coming from Bhagavan Shiv, their devotees. This is why we should always know and remember our Gurujis. We must remember our Gurujis. Jnan Mulam Guru Murti. Not in your Jnan. Your Guruji should be the Murti. Puja Mulam Guru Param. The feet of your Guruji is the root of your worship, their devotees. Mantra Mulam Guru Vakyam. Their devotees, that words of your Guruji is your guidance. It's the root of your mantra, as you all would have gotten your Guru Mantra. But even beyond the Guru Mantra itself, which is potent and very powerful by itself, the words and the instructions that your Guruji gives you. So Bhagavan Shiv, he gave instructions to the Saptarishis and they have brought those instructions down through the various types, each one of them down to us even today they devotee. This is why we said we have to go back in history to understand the greatness of this Guru Purnima their devotees. And so to understand now what is the teachings, the ultimate teachings that all Gurus, Sadgurus try to teach to us. Let us see what now is the Dakshna that the Saptarishis had to pay. And by paying this Dakshna that they pay to their Guruji, it is the same exact Dakshna. It's not a monetary Dakshna that you pay their devotees. Let us enjoy in this particular narration as well as Sibhajan or Stotram really to understand what is the Dakshna and the ultimate goal and teachings that the Gurujis should pass on to us. Mahapati Mahadev Ki Jai Shri Guru Maharaj Ki Jai Ho Mahapati Mahadev Ki Jai Shri Guru Maharaj Ki Jai Ho Dear devotees, as we heard and, and listened to the, in that narration, beautiful narration, we saw and we heard that the Sapta Rishis haven't been there for so many thousands of years. They had nothing. All they had was their sadhana. All they had was their devotion that they would have developed from Bhagavan Shiv. And that is all that they could have offered to him. And in so doing, they left with nothing. How oh, very beautiful a teaching their devotees. When we offer all to the Guru and we leave with that total notice, nothingness, we end up with what? Dananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Chidananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham We end up being one with Bhagwan Shiv, dear devotees, when we have that emptiness, that void within us. That silence within us, that silence, that void, is filled with Chittananda Rupa, its ultimate consciousness, ultimate bliss, dear devotees. Of course, those of you who have experienced this, you know exactly what I'm speaking about. However, I cannot describe to you that feeling of such Chittananda. You have to experience it yourself and you will know exactly what it feels like. You will want to remain in that state. In that state, their devotees. And so, having learnt that, this is why, their devotees, why do we have to bow to our Gurjis? You know, we have always condemned, why should we bow to a human being? And you know, even at political levels, when 
we bow to our great leaders and we bow as that mark of respect, especially to your gurus, your devotees. When we bow to our gurus, what we are doing, we are offloading, we are showing that humility before the guru. We are offering sharanam, sharanagati. We are offering seeking refuge in his feet, their devotees. And we are seeking that refuge. You know, just like Arjunji in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, when he turned to his childhood friend, Bhagavan Shri Krishna, he said, Shishya Hetam, I turn to you as a shish, I turn to you as you are my guru and I am your disciple. Please tell me decidedly what is best for me. And your Guruji will always know what is best for you. Yes, devotees, you may know what you want, you may know, but your Guruji, Bhagavan, in that form of your Guruji, will know what you need and will guide you for that spiritual aim. That spiritual aim, as we just say in Nirvan, Uttam their devotees, that aim is Nirvan. That aim is Moksha. That is why your Guruji is the one who will treat train you and take you towards Bhagwan so that you can experience Mrityodama Amritam Gamya. As in the last verse of that that shlok told us, dear devotees, we heard Moksha Mulam Guru Kripa. What does it mean? That we cannot get liberation without the Guru's grace. It means that the Guruji will take you to Bhagwan. Only Bhagwan can give you moksha, dear devotees. However, that is with the blessings of the Guru, the guidance of the Guru. In so many instances, we see within our scriptures that only what the Guru wants for us, but we have instances like Raja Dashrat himself, when he performed his Putreshti Yagna, and Agin Devta himself came forward. Agin Devta said, This I bring to you because this is what your Guruji asks for. Yes, devotees, because of the wishes of the Guru. We also know how Gusunji. In Ramayan Katha as well, when he was in the human form, their devotees, and he was performing puja to Bhagwan Shiv. And when his Guruji came in, and Bhagwan Shiv wasn't pleased at all. Why? Because he did not pay respects to his Guruji. Yes, devotees, he did not pay respects to his Guruji. And so Bhagwan Shiv was very angry, and Bhagwan Shiv cursed him to be born in many, many low wombs. However, the Guruji said, if that is the wish of Bhagavan Shiv, but it is my wish to forgive you and to say, you will realize Bhagavan within your rebirths. And so in the form of a crow, he saw Bhagavan Sri Ram and he kept that form, their devotees, through the blessings of the Guru once again. So it is said that even when, if Bhagavan is angry, you have shelter at the feet of your Guruji. However, if your Guruji is angry, there is shelter nowhere. Bhagwan himself cannot shelter you, dear devotees. Why? Because the Guruji is the one who takes you towards Bhagwan. How oh, very beautiful, dear devotees. And so if we understand this, the genesis of the lineage of all the Gurus, and we understand this, and we practice the teachings of our Guru. You know, there's another beautiful um, Katha in Katha Upanishads with Nachikeji. Nachikeji, when he was going on his way to Yam Devta, on his journey, he was thinking to himself, you know, there are three types of disciples. There are three types of shikshas. There's the first type that the Guruji will give the instructions and they won't even act upon getting the instructions. He says there's a second type where the Guruji gives the instructions and they act upon he getting the instructions. However, he said the best disciple, the best shiksha is that disciple who even before the Guruji asks of him, he does. Yes, devotees, this is the ultimate state that we should all like to be as shikshas, to understand our Guruji, to be one with the Guru and be one with the Guru lineage, be one with the protection of the Guru, dear devotees. And so, let us dedicate 
इस ब्यूटीफुल स्तोत्र नौ टू रिक ओल गुरु जीज एज वी सी दे गाइडेंस एंड ब्लेसिंग वी कंटिन्यू टू बाउ अगेन एंड अगेन एंड देर फीट एंड देर लोटस लाइक फीट एज वी सीक दे ब्लेसिंग एंड गाइडेंस प्रेम से बोलो श्री गुरु महाराज की जय हो गुरु महाराज की जय हो जय सीताराम देवी गोति स्वागत samsar this life dear devotees until we reach our ultimate goal mrityodama amritam gamya dear devotees the breaking of the circle of birth and death and becoming one with bhagwan dear devotees and so in so doing the tulsi das ji he said it best why do we bow to the feet of the lotus like feet of our gurujis he said in his very first chopai that he penned in his to secret ramayan dear devotees he said bando guru par bando guru par param paraga surachi subhas saras anuraga dear devotees that the lotus like feet the dust from the lotus like feet of the guru has that ultimate blessings of the nectar of divine love their devotees this is how you know a sad guru a true guru a true guru is one who sees love in each and every one their devotees is unaffected by the pendulum of life their devotees he is someone who can uplift you their devotees this is how the sad gurus they can be identified they are not angered by the material worlds and situations and immaterial worlds they see beyond that and see the teachings in which we have to continue our life their devotees and so on sunday gone we had a beautiful ceremony there at the amar jodh krishna mandir where all my shikshas they gathered and they seek the blessings of their guruji the divine blessings from the sad guruji come down to them their devotees as we explain from that adi yogi that adi guruji bhagwan shiv the blessings flows to all the lineage of the gurujis on to the shikshas their devotees we invite all of you tonight is the to the karni hindu mandir the devotees in karni siwala street in karni where tonight we do guruji guruji panditerish maharaj or shikshas of guruji and guru mata ji to of panditerish maharaj ji um to join us tonight as we do our guru puja to guruji the devotees and also our param guruji Guru Dev Professor H S R S G you all are invited on Saturday coming so that you can join along at the Adesh Ashram where we the shikshas and grand shikshas of Param Guru Dev ji we seek his guidance and blessings as well on that great Guru Purnima day dear devotees and so as we leave you this morning we leave you with our maha mantra for Surya day as we leave you every Thursday morning we pray oh lord may you lead us o oh guru ji jeez when you lead us from the unknown to the known may you lead us from the darkness of ignorance to the light of knowledge may you lead us from mortality to immortality as we pray bless us with peace peace and more peace om asatoma sadgame tamasoma jyotirgame mrityorma amritangame om shanti shanti shanti